Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 164 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, December 18th, 2013. Ricky, we are getting close to Christmas, man. Very close. Super close. Kevin, how much shopping have you done? So Zero. Zero percent. <laughs> I've been so busy here with Stadium. Same. Um, you know, last weekend we had our warehouse sale. We also had our Moonlight Madness sale. And then just before that we had Black Friday. And now we're like right in the middle of the craziness that is Christmas. Everybody's coming in here to do their shopping. Leaving us no time to go out and do shopping for yeah. ourselves. I've done online shopping. I don't think any of my presents have shipped yet. So, That's crazy. Not giving them out on Christmas. You had a, uh, a successful appearance at the Toronto Comic Con over, yes. the, over the weekend, I hear. Yeah, we, uh, we had a huge snowstorm the day before, so it yeah. really hindered people from going. But it was pretty good, I thought. You know, we were there and met a lot of people. We met somebody who looked exactly like one of the characters from the book. Lars? <laughs> I wish. Oh. No, like the, the girl, Lillian. Oh, looked cool. exactly like her. It was crazy. That's awesome, though. Uh, good to hear that Black Hole Hunters Club's doing so well, and uh, from what I understand, there'll be a little something uh, for, uh, you know, potentially for everyone out there. We'll see. Well, not everyone, for one person, <laughs> uh, a little later in this uh, video. Well, Ricky, enough chit-chat about how well your career is doing. <laughs> Let's open up some boxes. All right, first up, we've got some t-shirts to show you for the uh, haters of science out there, or the ironic fans of science. We have this Manhattan Project's Science Bad shirt. It's a Japanese import. It's a Figma Metroid Other M figure. We've got a new Justice League, new 52 action figure. This is Shazam. From Infinite Crisis, we have this Atomic Wonder Woman statue. Ricky, do you notice anything uh, a little funny about the statue? What about those football breasts? I'm more interested in the uh, chainsaw staff myself, but you know, to each his own. All right, I've been looking forward to this statue, uh, and what a gift this would make for somebody for Christmas, especially if they're a Harley Quinn fan. This is the DC Comics Bombshells Harley Quinn statue. It's fantastic. It's uh. It's probably my favorite out of all of the bombshell ones that they've released so far. Designed by good old Aunt Lucia. How is Aunt Lucia these days, Ricky? She's good. Yeah, she's good? Alright. She's coming over for Christmas? I think so. Alright, it's good. Good when Aunt Lucia's in town. Uh, so pick up this uh, Harley Quinn statue at your local comic shop this week. It's awesome. Transformers, The Art of Prime. This is a new art book. It's a hardcover from IDW. It's full of all kinds of awesome stuff. The Massive, Volume 2. Fables, Volume 19. Great Pacific, Volume 2. Scott Steiner and Sean Murphy's The Wake, Part 1. This collects issues 1 to 5. The X-Files, Season 10, in hardcover from IDW. Expertly drawn by Michael Walsh, I must say. Powers Bureau, Volume 1. Deadpool, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. New in hardcover today from Image Comics, it's the deluxe edition of Peter Panzerfaust. This collects issues 1 to 10 of this uh, critically acclaimed series. Teen Titans Volume 3. And new in softcover today, Venom, The Land Where Killers Dwell. Alright, moving on to the smaller press books. We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Animated, issue number 6. We're also on issue 29 of the Ninja Turtles ongoing series from IDW. Here's the variant for that book. Ninja Turtles cover gallery. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic issue number 14 has these two covers. And here's the variant cover. This month's micro series of Friendship is Magic features Luna. And here's the variant cover for that book. The Secret to issue 4. Umbral from Image Comics gets a second printing for issue number 1. And here we have issue 2, new on shelves today. Star Wars Dark Times issue number 5. Ten Grand Issue Number Six, Star Wars: Dawn of the Jedi Issue Two, The Bounce Issue Number Eight, most dramatic title I've ever heard for a Star Wars comic, Darth Vader and the Cry of Shadows Issue Number One. Everyone knows shadows can't cry. From Antarctic Press, we have Eight Bit Zombie Issue Number One. There's the flip side. The Green Hornet Issue Number Seven, a new one dollar book from Vertigo today. It's One Hundred Bullets. First shot, last call. This is the first issue of Brian Azzarello and Eduardo Risso's 
uh, 100 Bullets series. It's a fantastic series and I highly recommend it to everybody out there. Give it a try here for a buck. What have you got to lose? Also we've got on the flip side the uh, Essential Vertigo graphic novels. Itty Bitty Hellboy issue 5 of 5. The Wonderful World of Lisa Simpson, issue number one from Bongo Comics. Look kids, comes with stickers inside. Bravest Warriors, issue 15. Sex, issue number nine. Ghost, issue one. Mass Effect Foundation, issue six. Star Wars Legacy 10. Trish Out of Water 3 has two covers. Zero, issue four. Samurai Jack, issue three has two covers as well as this variant cover. A Voice in the Dark issue 1 gets a second printing and then we have issue 2 new on shelves today. Lock and Key Alpha issue 2 has these two covers. Here's Sinister Dexter issue number 1 from IDW. Ghostbusters Happy Horror Days this is issue 11. Transformers Regeneration 1 issue 97 has two covers plus this variant cover. Robots in Disguise number 24 has these two covers and this variant cover. Max Brooks's Extinction Parade issue 4. Sledgehammer 44, The Lightning War issue number 2 of 3. Cobra Files issue 9, Black Science issue 2. East of West issue 8. From Ryan North we have The Midas Flesh. This is issue number 1 of 8. Here's the variant cover for that book. And finally, finally after what seems like a thousand smaller press books. We have Saga number 17 from Image Comics. Okay, moving on to Marvel. We've got the Thunderbolts Annual, issue number one. Here's Deadpool, issue 21. Thor, God of Thunder, issue 16. Indestructible Hulk, issue 17.inh, meaning it's an Inhumanity tie-in. Here's Daredevil, issue 34. Longshot Saves the Marvel Universe, issue 4. Secret Avengers 13, Superior Spider-Man Team-Up number 8, Fantastic Four number 15, Uncanny Avengers number 15, Young Avengers number 14, Avengers Assemble number 22, X-Men issue 8, All New X-Men number 20, Cataclysm Ultimate X-Men issue number 2, Uncanny X-Force 15, Scarlet Spider number 25, Amazing Spider-Man 700.4 and 700.5. And finally for Marvel, the Superior Spider-Man issue number 24. And this awesome variant cover for that book. Moving on to DC Comics, we've got Teen Titans Go! issue number 1. Batman Beyond Universe number 5. It's been announced that there'll be a new weekly DC comic series coming out in the new year where Batman Beyond will make a new 52 universe appearance. Forever Evil Rogue's Rebellion issue number 3, Birds of Prey issue number 26. Here's the Rogue's Rebellion variant, Red Hood and the Outlaws number 26, Animal Man number 26. This series coming to an end in 2014 as uh, reported by Jeff Lemire himself a week ago. Batman and Two-Face number 26, Wonder Woman number 26. Here's the variant for that book, Green Lantern New Guardians number 26. Here's that book's variant. Batman 66 issue number 6. 666. Six, six. Beautifully drawn in all of its retro glory by Ty Templeton. Supergirl issue number 26. Ambushed by Lobo in all of his sexiness. Trinity of Sin Pandora issue number 6. And finally, the long awaited first issue for Harley Quinn in her new ongoing series where she becomes a queen of the roller derby world. This is issue one, and here is the variant cover to that book. All right, everyone, I just want to remind you all that most of the comics you saw today are available the same day as they're available in print form through our digital web store powered by Comixology. Just head on over to stadiumcomics.com, click on the links on the right-hand side of your screen to be taken to our web store for DC Digital Comics and our store for all other publishers. Also, remember to check out our website for pre-orders and statues and collector's packs and all other cool things that are uh, coming out in the near future. If you go over to store.stadiumcomics.com, 
you'll see all kinds of uh, beautiful, beautiful items there available for purchase, including some Sideshow collectibles and Hot Toys merchandise. So you'll definitely want to head over there and check some of that stuff out. Here we go, prize time. That's right, last prize is before Christmas, and this one's going to be a doozy. But first, on to last week's contest, which we asked you which superhero would still be in the future in the year 3000. And you could win a copy of Justice League 3000. Uh, we had some pretty hilarious answers. Um, Sean Berg said The Flash. The Flash would be in the future because since he travels at the speed of light, he could run around the world causing it to spin to the year 3000. Clever. So he's like the same age, yet he's in the future. I'm pretty sure he's done that already. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Hunter Scunter said, I wish I could say Tiger Ricky would be around in 3000, but I know at that point he won't be a hero, but a god. <laughs> right? Uh, the real answer, however, is Howard the Duck, because in the year 3000, ducks are like the new ninjas, vikings, or pirates. And oddly enough, there was a lot of Howard the Duck comments. A lot of people... For some reason, think Howard the Duck is still going to be around in the year 3000. Because Philip Cumming said uh, Howard the Duck will be around in the year 3000 because he will fly into the Bermuda Triangle and it will flash him forward into a land with Roman knights. And somehow Dennis Rodman will be teaching basketball to everyone as well. How Dennis Rodman survives in the year 3000, anyone's guess, maybe he goes in the Bermuda Triangle with Howard the Duck. Crazy people of Howard the Duck of all people, uh, but the winner goes to the most nihilistic person on the planet, Ivy Killa, who says, "The way things are going, I think in the year 3000 we will not have a popular superhero because the human race will be extinct." <laughs> Ouch! Harsh realities. Now let's get the environment cleaned up, people. Let's get this ozone layer patched up. Because we need to prove this Ivy Killa gentleman wrong. But regardless, congratulations Ivy Killa. You win a copy of Justice League 3000. Just message us your information and we'll get that book out to you as soon as possible. This week's prize is a little bit different. Me and uh, my partner Shane thought we'd open up to all you and give out a copy of not only issue 1 of Black Hole Hunters Club, but also issue two, and not just issue two, issue three. That's right, you can get all three copies of the book. One, two, three, one, two. But how? How do you get these copies, you may ask? Well, it's quite simple. Me, Shane, and Kevin have not purchased a single Christmas gift. So what are some good present ideas that we can get super quickly and uh, hopefully a little bit cheap? So let us know your quick Christmas gift ideas and you could win all three issues of the nominated for Best Comic Award book, The Black Hole Hunters Club. <laughs> All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Ricky, quick question for you. Sandman, starring, directed, and uh, maybe yeah. written by? No, not written not by. Written by, by Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Thoughts Lake. about that? That's fantastic. I, I, I'm a huge fan of Joseph Gordon-Levitt. The ladies will love it. I know that for sure. Although, but, uh, I, I can't really see him playing Death. That's a little weird. Yeah, well, Death is like a slight guy. He's, he's skinny, I'm sure, with some makeup and stuff like that. Yeah, they I can guess. make him look really good. But, uh, yeah, it should be good. Well, we'll see. As long as it brings people in to buy uh, more copies of Sandman in trade, I am happy. And I support 100%. Got a new episode of Previews Reviews up online and uh, available to view. It's the first one in a long time. Ricky edited it. Go easy on him, guys. I know it's I know it's not me, but <laughs> he did a good job. There's a great part in there where uh, there's a guy outside of our story just starts singing, and it's <laughs> it's awesome. It's probably the highlight awesome. of the episode. Uh, but check it out. We talk about a lot of the new all new Marvel Now stuff starting in February 2014. Remember to uh, check that video out as well as all the other videos on our channel. And remember that you can connect with us using any of the websites you see listed here on your screen. 
Check out our friend Louie's uh, recap podcast. You see the link in the description. We'll see you all next time for episode 165 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your comics this week. Mm-hmm.